Hiya folks, how's it going? I'm Lexi and I really like tabletop games. So much so that we review one here together once a week, every week. For this week's review, I've gone and borrowed a game off a friend's shelf again. It's not that I don't have games to review, it's just for a hot minute. I just couldn't find anything on my shelves that I felt inspired enough by to review. So in those cases, I asked my friends what they've been reading and enjoying and wanting to play or been playing. For this week's game, we are delving into science fiction. This is M Space. M Space doesn't come with a setting. Rather, this is a toolkit for a game master to sit down and create a game in a science fiction setting. If I had to assign a genre to this game, aside from science fiction, I would perhaps say space opera. That doesn't mean other genres aren't possible, I'm just telling you what my first gut instinct is with this game. And the mechanics of this toolkit don't happen to cover farting in space. Though you probably could work out a way to do that. This manual gives you building blocks to craft your own game that is designed to be in a science fiction setting. This means it can be a little bit broader without covering details of every single NPC that lives in this non-existent world. There's a couple of methodologies explained in this game for creating mechanics and things to encounter in this world. You're not going to get a whole write-up of a planet or the galaxy it's in. Rather, this is a toolkit for game masters to come together and cherry pick what works for them. In terms of pre-written material you do get access to, there is a bestiary of some aliens, some example spaceships, technologies, weapons, and even a couple of vehicles. This game does give you the tools to create your own thing, but if that is not your cup of tea, there is plenty of material to fall back on in this game. For myself, with things like setting neutral games, I tend to really prefer when a setting neutral game has a genre in mind that it's trying to cater to, instead of just entirely genre neutral. Plus, if you like the mechanics of something but not the flavour, you can really easily reflavor the content in this book. This game is based on the D100 system that came out of Chaosium's Mithras. The D100 system is pretty famous and I do have a review coming in the future, fingers crossed, for basic role-playing, which is pretty exciting. Generally when a character wants to do something, they'll roll two dice, one die representing the numbers 0 to 9, the other your groups of 10s up to 100. You then compare your results to a relevant skill or attribute. You're hoping to match the number or roll under it. The lower the better. For tests with M-Space, you're generally going to be rolling your skills, which generally uses two of the base scores added together with perhaps a modifier to create the final score you want to roll under. You do get guides on how to run spaceship combat with this toolkit, which I think is pretty important for most science fiction games. This manual also includes a simple rule set as well as an advanced one. I've covered the basic gist of the simplified one in this review. So you can choose which rule set you're going to go with. As this manual is positioning itself as a toolkit, I think that does make a lot of sense to have two different rule systems. For things like combat, you can go as simple as just attacking as the thing you do on your turn, or in the more complex rule you can have things such as different maneuvers you can do in combat. I do generally find in D100 systems setting up the characters tend to be harder than the actual gameplay. Once the character is actually created, it's pretty smooth sailing. If I were presenting these rules to a group of players to run a campaign in, I would be absolutely clear and pick either the simplified or the complex rule set. I wouldn't necessarily try to pick from one or the other, and I definitely would mark the pages and basically tell the players to ignore whichever rule set you didn't want to use. M-Space isn't necessarily a tabletop manual as we are used to these days. Clearly that it is a toolkit and it is trying to emulate or harken back to an older time in tabletop gaming where manuals were more toolkits than things you had to take and use as they were. 
I appreciate that they credit where their philosophy comes from, and I know a lot of game masters get a copy of a game and immediately start changing things around. So I think it's very fair to just come prepared for that. I do really appreciate that while this manual provides you every tool to make your own thing, they also recognize that perhaps that is not for you, and they provide you with a couple of pre-generated things where there's enough variety that you can reskin it and recycle a couple of them and people wouldn't necessarily notice and there's enough that you can space them out. I want to in particular praise the instructions for building an alien. World building is such an important skill in running tabletop games and this manual really understood what it means to create an alien race and what that creation process would be influenced by. I do wish I had a bit more art in this game manual. It is super packed and dense with text and a little visual break for my eyes would have been appreciated a bit more often. That and I really liked some of the art and I wanted to see more. Though I also can't blame the creators for wanting to keep this a concise game manual. This manual is for the fans of science fiction and world building. If you want to build a campaign from the ground up, this is a great toolkit to do so. Not only do you get the philosophy and the instructions on how to create your own content, but there's enough pre-generated material for you to use that you can swap things out or reflavor them and start with something rather than nothing. Personally, I'm not enough of a science fiction fan to want to build my own science fiction world and game mechanics, but I can still see the great value in having this as an option. A copy of M Space can be purchased through DriveThru RPG for $30 US, or you could spend $15 for a PDF copy instead. If you're interested in D100 systems and you enjoy world building in science fiction, then I think this would be a no-brainer to check out. Even if you're not interested in running this game, I think it provides some interesting insight into world building and creating your own content. While a science fiction toolkit isn't necessarily my cup of tea, I can absolutely see the use for it. But what did you think? Are you a fan of tabletop games that are more toolkits? Do you have a favourite one? Do you agree with the creator's idea of making toolkits for game masters to use? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're there, I encourage you to like this video, subscribe and turn on notifications so YouTube tells you when I've next uploaded, and you could even share this video with a friend if you liked. The more eyes on this video and the more interaction it gets, the more YouTube thinks this is something people should see. I also have a Ko-Fi page where you can donate to the channel. This always makes me feel appreciated and helps keep the channel going. I hope you're all well and I look forward to seeing you next time at the gaming table. Bye!